A40, the Detroit Actors Theater Company is back with their newest show, Follies, a Broadway Review. It kicks off on Friday in Detroit, and here to tell us more about it is Eric Swanson. He's the artistic director of the Detroit Actors Theater Company, and Shannon Grant, she is a cast member. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. We've been talking about uh, musicals. Keenan, I want you to know that your comment about not liking musicals was all but taken uh, in offense. <laughs> I, I just fighting wanna, words. Yeah, it was fighting I words. But, <laughs> I just haven't been converted yet. I'm willing to be converted. <laughs> Eric is here to change all that. What That's is right. it about musicals that uh, make them so special and different from other forms of, of, of uh, theater? Well, I think um, it's a, it's a risk-free way to come out and have an affordable night out, watch some amazing performers really, really lift your spirits through music. And I think, Shannon, you were saying earlier. Yes, um, music just has a way of reaching out a little bit to you, you know, tugs at your heartstrings a little bit more. Um, there's just a way to connect, I think, in a deeper way with music involved. Yeah. And, and as you mentioned that, the first thing that came to mind is if you were to have actors on a stage with no backdrops or anything, exactly. they could still perform. Mm -hmm. However, when you have scenery and you have other elements of the production, it brings it home a little more, mm -hmm. and the music uh, seems that it would have a similar effect, audibly uh, speaking. Exactly. So what type of songs are you performing? Tell us about the show that you have. What is the name? Yes, the show, um, it's um, Follies. It's okay. a, a musical review. A musical review. Yep. And so it's just, there's all these different songs. It's, uh, we have Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast, okay. and we have things from Les Mis. So it's really entertaining, and it's one of the biggest Follies that we've ever done at the DATC. It's going to be extremely exciting, and there's going to be a lot of things that people recognize, and it's very family friendly. So it's, going to be really exciting overall. For non-theater types like mm -hmm. myself, I can't speak for Keenan, but what are Follies? What, what is that a specific genre of production? What is that? Yeah, so the Follies, uh, the term Follies is actually from the 1920s. Okay. The famous Ziegfeld Follies. It was a bunch of showgirls dancing pretty scantily clad in a large musical review with many large chorus numbers. Over time, that's now become a collection of your favorite Broadway numbers in one massive show. So that's why Shannon was saying, you're going to come and you're going to see songs from Beauty and the Beast, Smokey Joe's Cafe, Les Miserables. You're going to see some Wicked in there. You're going to see tons of different shows all represented in one night. What about the, uh, the theatrical, the acting aspect of those shows? Is it just uh, like a... a, a hodgepodge or a mashup of different scenes or is it more of a just a concert? Yeah, um, it actually one of the things that um, this show particular make what makes it special is that we do the large chorus numbers, which okay. is sort of the anchor for the show. Right. And in between we have solos um, that we feature each actor one time and they come out and you get a personal moment with that actor. Um, they tell their story, whether it's through a famous song that you from a show that you would probably know, you get an opportunity to actually see that scene develop. There's no storyline to the show. It really is a true musical review and you get a little bit of everything. So how can we see this? Where are tickets uh, available and where is it uh, happening? Um, you can go to the DATC.org or you can go on our Facebook, facebook.com slash the DATC. All the show times are on there and it's a really cool location. It's an old abandoned church on the east side of Detroit. So there's a lot of character. Yes, yeah, a lot of character. And That's nowadays sad. when there's more buildings that are empty, more churches that are empty than congregations, sadly. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't do these kinds of shows, these artistic valued things in these spaces, no one goes in them. Yeah. So we really want to open up these doors and really, really make this space be seen by a people who maybe not wouldn't go in there otherwise. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Eric and Shannon, thank you very much for stopping by to see us. Keenan, you have a, a solo, I believe is what they call that. <laughs> That's right, and, yeah. and for a point of clarification, musicals in person are great. I love Wicked. <laughs> musicals in movies? No. no. Yeah. I, that's